Baby, keep it solid. We ain't even deep as you used to be. This shit sweet to body. Brad got no hustle or nothing, so he gon' stick to body. I be knowing the run down, I'm doubting, so I can't speak about it. She know I'm a dancer, she love me, I've been a freak about it. What's going on, YouTube? Nick Triggers here. We've been another video, and uh, this video is gonna be on one of these rules that was uh, snuck in with that. What, what was it, like $60 billion to Ukraine and some money to Israel and all that money to Taiwan. It, it wasn't that much to Taiwan, but all that, all that money going to foreign wars. Um, there was a rule snuck in there about private sales. And um, I just wanna tell you how that rule isn't really gonna change anything with uh, private sales of firearms because if you think about it, private sales of firearms, it, the rule is you can't make you can't make a profit. And the way that inflation has been going so far these past few years, um, inflation isn't really you can't really make a profit off your firearms because you're already so far in the hole from all the inflation that it doesn't even matter if you're selling your firearms through a private sale because it's not technically you're not you're not making a profit off anything you do you're not going to make a profit off it unless you're manufacturing your own firearms which in turn you should be you should have an ffl and you should have that manufacturing license but if you're just selling your your gun to jim bob down the street or your neighbor or whatever you, there's no reason for you to be be worried about it because you're not gonna make a profit. Like, you're not gonna make a profit. There's no way that you can make a profit off of, like, selling this to somebody, say, what, $700. $700 for a rifle and what? No, you, you didn't make a profit because, what, you spent that, that money that you got from the sale was just the same amount of money that you would've spent buying the rifle in the first place. So technically that's not a profit. Um, this right here is definitely not one of those uh, private sale firearms. Definitely not, not at all. I don't, I don't do that, but this is a binary firearm. It is clear, nothing in the chamber. Safe controlled environment, with the safety. Ooh. Binary from Pemby and Sons. If you haven't seen the video on that, go check it out. And I have a, a zip tie hand grip. Zip ties actually work pretty good. They're not they're pretty pretty nice if you see my setup it's a little bit different um i had had to uh migrate out of my wife's office because you know it's just weird and i always be messing up her spot and now she makes her videos in there i make my videos in here but i appreciate all the love um on this channel so that i've been getting so far I'm pretty sure we're at 1,044 subscribers, and that is, that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. 1,044 subscribers is absolutely insane. Um, if you haven't checked out my X account, go check out my X account. It's uh, Nick Triggers 23 um, Right now, I'm in Twitter jail. I'm in Twitter jail. Uh, unfortunately, I commented on the ATF website. I said, go f yourselves atf hq and d13 slowly so i can't i can't be typing that i guess i mean we were all thinking it i just said it out loud i mean i don't i'm not apologetic it just sucks because you think elon musk would be a little bit more pro speak your words but i guess not i guess you have to bend over to the Fed boys, and you can't let them let them know how you actually feel about the about their rules that they 
that they try to enforce through unconstitutional means and tyrannical means. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. I also have an Instagram account that is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Nick Triggers on Instagram. I have like, I think 20 followers or something if you wanna get, get on there. Um, and I'm bringing that up because I'm at 1K subs I'm at 1K subscribers on YouTube, but if everybody, if anybody wants to um, link with me or do anything like that, wants me to uh, do some, you know, what are those things called? Ads or whatever, you know, like send me some free stuff so that I can review it, anything like that. Go on to my Instagram and. Uh, send me a dm in my instagram because uh my emails are just chock full of bullshit of like um a bunch of different gun websites always want me to buy the new deal and this and that i need to clean out my my emails but other than that um that's pretty much it um i know in the next few next few weeks I'm going to be having twins on the twins coming into this world. Um, I know it's very, I don't really talk about my kids or my family on on this channel, at least not that much, but it's definitely good to be that time, but where I'm gonna have to start focusing more on them. And I know my YouTube channel might get thrown on the back burner a little bit, or I might be doing stuff with them in, in the garage and this and that, but I don't know what the hell is in my eye, but other than that, I definitely have been appreciating the love on this on this channel, and I definitely appreciate everybody commenting and subscribing. Um, yeah. Other than that, that was pretty much all I had to say. And uh, just so you know, the reason that the ATF is making it so that the suppressor times are coming back quicker and quicker is because they know that that is probably gonna be swept under, that is probably gonna be expunged and the reason why they want to make private sales illegal is because they would rather everybody fill out their form 4473 because the form 4473, it's all, everything's in a database. No matter what you do, no matter what, no matter how safe you are, how anti-fed you are, no matter how many guns you have, they're all in a database, no matter what. 4473, if you've seen Red Dawn, I'll look for the clip and I'll put it in here. But if you've seen Red Dawn, you definitely know that that's what they're looking for, 4473. <laughs> If anything happens, just go to the 4473, look for the name, look for the address, take the guns, and that's that. Finito. But the reason they're doing that with the suppressors is because they know that once it gets to the Supreme Court, it's more likely, I'd say it's about a 60-40% chance of uh, going away the, the suppressors, at least suppressors from the NFA. Because I'm sure they they because suppressors aren't aren't even uh, firearms, so I don't think that they fall under that category. Um, I get how like auto sears you need SOT and even even short barrel rifles like those. I I get how you could try and label that a NFA item, but a suppressor something that helps people shoot and not damage your hearing that is that's that's why they want you to they want you to get it right now that's i i wouldn't suggest getting it right now because i mean i, I couldn't suggest anybody uh putting their fingerprints in the database for uh, in the federal registry for the uh for a suppressor or anything like that um but anyways that was just a quick little rant i hope y'all uh, are having a good week. I know a lot of people uh, have just been, you know, doing their thing. And I know it's getting to be the middle of the year, the end of 
the beginning of spring, starting to get into summer. I know summer's almost there, but just keep your head up and I'll see y'all in the next one. God bless.